What's up, my friends? This is your boy, Bowens42 Outdoors. You know, I was just sitting here cleaning my boat from the last time that we went out. You know, when we was in Sharpsville, if you saw the video. We was in Sharpsville, catching crappy, slaying crappy. They might not have all been that big, but my wife likes crappy, so, you know, we kept some crappy. But, anyway, I want to jump into this. And uh, I had a few people ask me some questions about how to catch crappy. So, you know what? I decided to make a video on it. So let's get to it. Let's jump right in. Okay. I had a few people ask me how to catch crappy. So I decided to make a video on it. I was sitting here cleaning my boat. I was like, you know, sipping on some. I was like, okay, you know what? Let's make a crappy video. Yes, I'm not on the water, you see. I'm in my yard. So, let's go over a couple things. Matter of fact, I got some new lures in the mail today for crappy. But man, take a look at this bag though. This bag, man, I'll tell you. This bag could be a backpack. You could open it like some luggage and pull it. Okay, it got wheels on it and everything, man. This bag, it holds so much stuff, man. And I, I'm not trying to, I'm not sponsored by them or nothing. I'm just telling you, look at all the space in the top of this bag. And then, you got all these boxes and stuff here. Look at that. Like, it's endless space. Alright, enough of that. Let's get into it. Alright. Now. For beginners, because you, those of you who already know what's up with the crappy, you, you know, people don't like people trying to tell them nothing. But, if you're like me, you like to learn different ways from different people. But let me show you a couple things. Okay, this is my crappy box right here. Got a couple jig heads in it. All my crappy lures. Now, I'm going to show you a few things that I got. I don't know if you ever seen those. Good crappy bait. These are pretty much the same thing, but it's just a different color. Okay, it's like that, that watermelon, but it's brown and green. These, these little frogs right here, they look like tadpoles. Man, crappy love them. And you can get those from Walmart. They're called Frisky Frog, okay? I ordered these from Amazon. Man, crappy tear them all the way up. I'm telling you, man. Caught crappy on it. Here's some more frogs. Different color. Frisky frog. And then, another thing that I just seen and bought some of are these lures right here. Man, let me tell you. I watched this video. I watched this video with these lures. They come in these little capsules, man. I'm telling you, these lures are like maybe a dollar or two a piece. You'll get these capsules. Fire, man. You'll kill crap. But if you get like a, let me see, the size jig head. No, I think this is like a one and a half. Or, you know what? I'm not really sure of the size. I'll check with it. I'll check on it and get back to you. But I thought I still had the packaging for this purpose. But it looks like I don't. But look. If you got light line and you're fishing for crappy, this is the size jig head you'll need. And I think, I want to say that it's a... 
I don't have any packages of them. One eight. Something. I'm not sure, man. I'll get back to you on that. But anyway, let me show you a couple of words. For one, these frogs, these little tadpole type frogs with double tail are excellent for crappie. That's one. Okay, and this color too. And also this color with the green and black. So it depends on what the water is. If the water's murky, I would use the lighter color. But this dark color, when you got clear, clear water since the bottom is green and the top is black, man. You can't go wrong, man. And of course, these I got today. Order these. They come 24 in the pack. I think they was like maybe eight eight dollars on Amazon. But let me open this pack and show you what I'm talking about. They call them shad. They call them uh, baby shad. But man, to me, they look like they look like baby tadpoles, man. For real. But I'm telling you, everybody who's catching crappie right now, this is what they're using. They're using these little tiny little man. If you go ahead, if it, if it's hot out, now you know when it's hot out, the crappie like to go to the bottom or go where it's deep at because it's cooler. So, if you need to move to, to deep water to find crappie, like man, the other day we went, I didn't have my cameras with me, but man, the fish finder was showing fish at 14 feet deep. And I already knew they was crappy because there was a school of them. And I really wanted to stop, but there was boats all over the place, man. You really couldn't stop and get down with the crappy that day. But it's okay. And another one. Uh, let me see. These ones here are a little bit different. Let me show you. These ones have a little longer tail, and they got like a little swim, like something that caused some action on the end there. But you see how they got the the uh, the top got like some glitter in it, and the bottom got like black flakes in it. But it looks pretty nice though. Pretty nice. And these are made by Bobby Garland got these off of Amazon I got these off of Amazon I knew what I wanted man so I went on ahead and found them the frogs these frisky frogs you can get them from Walmart anytime uh, the three vials with the lures in them I got these from a bait store Excuse this dude riding by on a little motorcycle. But I got these from a bait store. I haven't really used them yet, but the video I watched, man, that dude was killing crappy. So I ended up getting some. If I like them, I might go back and get all the colors. So, and you can find these dark green frogs with the, the dark top and then the, the light bottoms. You can find those as Walmart, too. But man, I don't know how you got your bait box set up. But if I fish for a certain fish, like I fish for walleye, I got walleye lures. We'll cover that another time. But these are crappy, and this is how I got my jig head box set up. I keep my crappy lures here. And I keep my all different size jig heads, whatever I'm using. Like when you guys see me using that green twister, I use, I use this size here. Dude, I really got to get my sizes down packed, but I use this size here because it gives me a good cast. And for those people who don't use braid just because, you know, braid takes away the stretch in your line when you're fishing. So if you, if you, really, if you do your pole with braid and then let's say, I'll, I'll give you an example. On one of my poles, I have eight pound braid but the diameter of the braid is like six pound test line so you know 
you know how far you can cast with six pound test. But man, the strength is 30 pounds, dude. But look, if you go to set the hook with that, you're going to either snatch his lips off, or you might even lose the fish for setting the hook too hard, or, or you know, you might break his lips or whatever and lose the fish. But what I've decided, and what I've done, is I, I do my whole reel with braid, and then I do like a, either a two foot or one foot piece with maybe 20 pound test mono, that brings your stretch back. So that one piece of mono, when you go to set the hook and you're used to that little stretch, that little give, it brings it all back. So for you people who are stepping away from braid just because you lose your stretch, all you gotta do is add that mono line on the end. Dude, that's how I do my poles. And I'm telling you, if you watch my videos, you see I set the hook pretty hard. But I get my stretch back from the mono that I put on the end. Now, let me show you something. Here. What did I want? I want you to see something. Let me see. Where is it at? Another thing. Along with my crappy box. Also, what I got is I got these crappy nuggets, man. Crappy nibbles. I correct myself. Now, these are made from power bait. These crappy nibbles, these are the one ounce crappy nibbles. And I also have the green ones. What I've noticed is that those, those lures that I showed you, that I said look like tadpoles, man, I'll tell you. You just put one nibble on the bottom of that hook. It don't matter how you do it. Just put it over the hook. When you're reeling, you can see the scent. Like, it leaves a little trail. A little scent trail. Man, I'm telling you. When y'all see me catching them crappy, a few times when I put the nugget on there, it made me get a perch. But at the same time, it's designed for crappy. Crappy love them too. I mean, you may or may not be able to just put that on there alone and catch a crappie. I haven't tried it. But, and these crappie nibbles, man, they're the truth, man. They work. They work pretty good, man. Real, real rap. And, uh, I don't know, man. That's about it, really. You see my, you see my crappie set up. You seen the nuggets. Yeah, that's about it. If there's anything else or any other fish that you've seen me catching on my videos and you want to know what I use or how I set up my line or how I set up my poles, what size hook I use, I will get into these sizes. I apologize for not knowing the uh, how many ounces of jig head I'm using. But for me, I'm so used to just getting what I want or what I know I need. I know the size by looking at it, rip it open, throw it in my box, and that's it. But from now on, I'll pay attention to that just for you guys. And then, you know, the next video I'll make about another fish or catching another fish. Once you guys comment below, you want to know what I use to catch bass. Or if you want to know what I use to catch, uh, let's say, walleye or pike or whatever. Just let me know in the comments below. And then I'll get back with you. But let me go ahead and commence the clean of my boat. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Support my channel. I'm just trying to go ahead and get the information out here. I get my fishing on. I go anyway. The whole point of my channel is to take you with me fishing. So, I mean, I've been doing that. Please show the support. Bowen's 42 out. I'll get with you later.